Well, Coach, taking a look back uh, here at the uh, 2017 season for UC Men's Soccer, and your initial thoughts on the year? Well, I think it was, um, there was a lot of promise in the season. I thought we started off really well. Um, I think we had a really good stretch there, um, probably about uh, the midway through the season. And then in the conference, we didn't do quite as well. I thought we had some really good non-conference wins. I thought we see, saw some players really develop um, into, uh, in, into really good college players. And overall, I, I thought that we made some progress, but certainly not, um, not as much as we would have hoped to, uh, uh, to have going into the season. You know, you talked about that, that really good stretch uh, early on in the season. You talk about the, the tie against Xavier and then wins on the road against Kentucky and Bowling Green, nationally ranked teams at the time. For a, a team as young as yours that early in the season to go on a run, that really says a lot about, uh, you know, what you guys are able to accomplish. And that's something that's tough to do. Yeah, I mean, I think any time you can get wins on the road over a Kentucky team that was ranked at the time, I think they might have been 13th, and uh, Bowling Green, I think, was 19th. Um, I think it says a lot because we have a young team and um, you know trying to get results on the road is never easy. I think the Xavier match, I mean it's a, it's a local derby and so that's always an emotional game and Xavier was a good team and I think from our standpoint um, the crowd and the atmosphere was really really good but I also thought that we played well. I mean we led the game for, for long stretches and Xavier obviously scored late to tie it up and then the overtime period was back and forth. So, I thought that our guys showed a lot of resolve in that match to play a good Xavier team um, and to play well enough to get a result and could potentially have won it. So I thought that was a really good stretch for us. I thought we played really confident. I thought we played with a lot of belief and a lot of um, uh, cohesiveness. And I think that um, that was really, I think, um, a, um, a real good indicator from our standpoint of the potential of the team, um, you know, uh, up to that point. Taking a look at your team this year, you know, we mentioned that how young this team was. How important then was it to have the senior leadership from both uh, Christian Hay and Jack Clark, both on the pitch and off the pitch as well? Well, those two guys are anchors of our team. You know, I mean, they're really, really not just g good soccer players, but they're great guys. You know, their, their character is, um, is unparalleled. They are um, hard workers. They're bought in. Um, and they're Cincinnati, uh, you know, natives. They're from Cincinnati. Um, you know, they believe in, in the university, they believe in the city, and so from our standpoint, a lot of um, everything that we are looking to do in far as leadership and, um, and building and mentorship, uh, the culture within the team, starts with those guys. So um, we're really going to miss them uh, because, you know, they're four-year guys, and, um, and, but they, I think they've, they've put us on the path to success, and they've, I think, um, left their mark on the program. And um, uh, we're certainly going to miss them, but we also wish them all the best in their next uh, in the next phase of uh, you know of their lives. They certainly did, and you know you talk about the, the added depth on this team, uh, along with the youth of this team. I'm sure that has you very excited, looking ahead uh, to this uh, upcoming season. What excites you the most, um, you know, as we head into the, the spring practices and then into next year, uh, as you continue to look forward with this team? Well, I think you know when, when you're building something, you know, uh, you you, you want to key in on the process. And that's what we're trying to do with our guys is, I think that um, we look at the stretch we had with Kentucky and Bowling Green and Xavier, and what we see there is enormous potential of the group. Uh, and so what we're gonna try to do is, is build on those things. Now, we need to get better defensively because we, 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 I think, maybe conceded a little bit too many goals at critical points in the game. So we've gotta work on that. But I think that's something that, that we know we can do because it's a little bit easier sometimes to develop cohesiveness and defense than actually create up, creating opportunities offensively. So I think our goal is to build on the, the good things that we did this season, the really good stretches we had, but also understand that we have to fix some things and we have to replace some players. You know, we have to replace, you know, um, Christian and Jack and, and some other guys. And so that's the beauty of it. Every year your team changes and, and we're excited to see you know, how this group can continue to develop and hopefully, you know, create, um, continue to create a buzz and, and, and create, uh, uh, continue to create good soccer and, um, and obviously have success, not just out of the league, but also in the league, because ultimately that's where we're judged is, how do we do in our conference?